In this video, we're going to be looking at how we solve equations using the balance method. So we've looked at different examples of how we can solve equations in the previous videos. And in this one, we're going to be using what we call the balance method. Now, to best describe that, before we actually get into the work, I'm going to give you an example here of why we call it the balance method and how we can best understand that. So in front of me here, we have a set of scales. Now, this is a beautiful drawing here that I have done. It's not a Google image. It's probably the best uh, rep representation of an actual set of scales that you will ever get. So here we have like a set of scales. Now, the way that we use scales is that we want to make sure that they're even. Okay, if we represent the middle as the equal sign, both sides need to be equal. So let's just say that we had, let's just say, biscuits here. We had two biscuits. And let's just say we had six lollies here. Six. And then on this side, we just had like lollies, about, let's say about 10 okay, lollies. Now, what we wanted to do is work out how many biscuits or how many lollies are the same as a biscuit. Okay. So, what we do is that we're going to start to break these both sides of this equation down until we're left with one biscuit. And that's basically the balance method. So, for effectively, what I do. I take away five of these lollies, that means I need to take away five on that side. Then I'll be left with two biscuits and five on that side. Then I need to keep changing it and adjusting it so that they're equal from the left hand the left hand side of the equation and the right hand side of the equation. So that's just an analogy to help us really understand the balance method. Now let's see how we can put that into an actual equation. Okay, so now we have an actual equation. I'm going to show you how we do the balance method um, using this actual equation. So, effectively here I have a 3x minus 7 equals 11. Now, the rule is with the balancing method is that whatever you do to the left-hand side, you need to also match on the right-hand side, just like we did with the um, scales. If we took something off on the left-hand left -hand side to balance it out, we also may need to take it off on the other side as well. So what we need to do, and the first step you do is try and find a way that you can get any of these variables to zero. So here on this side, we'll focus on the left-hand side first. We have 3x minus 7 equals 11. See, what I know that I can do is if instead of minus 7, what if I add 7 to get that to zero? I can get rid of this symbol here by adding 7. What we want at the end is just to have x equals an answer. But we need to do that by balancing and breaking down each side of the equation. So what we're going to do here, with, if we minus 7 on this side, uh, we add 7, sorry, on this side, we need to add 7 on the other side. So this is what this next step would look like. So we have 3x minus 7. What we're doing now is plus 7 would equal 11 plus 7. Okay, so that's the next step. Now we know that these will cancel each other out, so they'll be 0. So the next part we'll have is 3x equals an 11 plus 7 is 18. So now I've got to balance it out again. Now I need to go to the next step. So here we have 3x, which is 3 times x. We, whatever I do here, I want to do the opposite or using the inverse um, operation, which we've learned in previous videos. So if I have 3 times x, what I want to do is divide by 3. So if I divide this side by 3, I also need to divide this side by 3. So what will equal there? 3x, I'll say divide by 3, equals what I need to do on the same other side. And divide by 3, sorry, 18. So I've broken it down and I'm starting to balance it out. So the next time I should just have my answer. So 3x divided by 3 equals 18 divided by 3. So what I'm left with should be our answer. That means x equals 18 divided by 3 is 6. Okay, so what you're basically doing is you're breaking down the left-hand side and the right-hand side. You're trying to do the inverse operation of each step of the uh, operation or the equation. And what you should be done, what you should have at the end is just your pro numeral and the answer. That's the goal for the most of the time. You want to get rid of all this part here, okay? Get rid of the three and the minus seven. So all you're left with is the x and the equals. So whatever you do to this side, you have to do the opposite on the other side, and that's how you do the balance method. So as you're going to go through this unit, you're going to practice this as much as you can. Make sure you ask questions if you're unsure. Thanks.